on Caitlin Lee and Pincher Creek, Alberta at a reception area where nearby residents of Waterton had to be evacuated Friday due to an approaching wildfire. Now about 50 people checked in with the town's emergency management online yesterday, but about 20 people came to this reception area in person. Fortunately, no one had to spend the night. As far as I know, everybody's out, everybody's safe. And uh, we'll see what Mother Nature has for us coming down the pipeline. Chris Ney opened his church up to anyone who may have needed help in the neighboring small town. We're equipped at this moment to handle any influx of number of people. We have 180 cots in the basement. We've got a couple rooms set up here that are just permanently set up until this thing is all over. The air may be smoky in Pincher Creek, but the Canoe wildfire is unlikely to spread here. It's the fear of new blazes sparking that has people on edge. The biggest threat I think we have around us is people being careless with their own personal flaming devices. Uh, we had a friend of ours who almost lost their entire field last night due to a cigarette just being flicked out in the ditch. Oh, that's everybody's um, worry, right? Because I have friends that want to go hunting and they're not allowed on anybody's land because everybody's terrified of a fire starting with their vehicles or quads or anything. So, yeah, everybody, it's pretty ten dry and tinder out there. It's a little concerning. Uh, a cigarette butt in the ditch can end up being a big problem. Intensifying air quality issues and wind has also prompted health centers in the area to limit visitations in order to reduce exposure for people with respiratory illnesses to the smoke. Reporting for City News in Pincher Creek, Alberta, I'm Caitlin Lee.